and he puffed off. But Duncan didn't know the high bridge wasn't safe. It hadn't been used for a very long time. Thomas chuffed slowly toward the bridge. The bridge looked very old, and it was very high, and the ravine was very deep. Thomas could hear rocks falling into the ravine and felt a little scared. I like high bridges, but this one is really high. If I chuff slowly, I'll reach the other side before I know it. He puffed bravely. Wheel turn by wheel turn, Thomas edged onto the bridge. I am brave and I am strong. I'll get to the wharf and it won't take long. He chuffed to himself. Thomas was now halfway across the bridge. The sound of the falling rocks was louder and louder. The bridge had started to shudder and shake. Thomas didn't like it at all, but he wanted to get to the other side. Then Thomas heard a mighty clap. Part of the bridge in front of him came away from the rocks. Thunders and ashes, cried Thomas. I must get back to safety. He was very scared. Then Thomas started to reverse. He puffed slowly and carefully. Then there was another mighty crack. A large piece of the broken bridge fell down into the ravine below. With the biggest puff he had ever huffed, Thomas pushed backwards onto the hillside. I'm safe, he cried. Just as the last part of the bridge groaned and swung over the deep ravine. Thomas peered down to the broken bridge below. Oh, flatten my funnel, he gasped. Thomas puffed back to the junction. 